Right, YouTube, and welcome back to episode two of this Gloucester billionaire takeover. You know, one billion pound is a lot of money with top end sugar daddy to boot. What are they going to do? Right, we're going into this episode two now. Two years into the future, we're going to be doing another two. Will they end up getting into League One? Or even the championship today. Only one way to find out. Let's go and check it out. Right guys. Let's check who's manager of Gloucester City at the moment. Well as of the moment. James Rowe was the manager for 3 years and 27 days. He has finally left. Well sacked. After winning 2 league titles. And one cup competition, which was the FA Trophy. Craig Robinson was in charge then for 27 days. Caretaker manager. You know, just there for a little bit until they got Dan Petrescu. The old Chelsea football defender, if you all remember him. You know, he was manager for a bit. Decent actual stats as a manager, to be fair. 17 man management, 17 motiva motivating, judging player ability 13, judging potential 12, and tactical knowledge 13. But, obviously just couldn't quite get the job done, could he? Because he was only there 106 days, got the sack, after doing nothing literally. And then just 7 days ago, they've hired... Ivorj Grabovac, a Croatian 45-year-old manager who is a very decent manager. 14-man management, 20 motivating, 13 player ability, 14 player potential and tactical knowledge, 15. So is this manager going to be really, really good? We're going to go further another year into the future in a moment, but going to check everything first just before we get into the transfers because everybody loves transfers i will show you where they finished not that that they finished in their first season in the sky bet lead to 13th place not too bad on 64 points just before we get into showing you the transfers because that is what everybody are waiting for with Mr. Moneybags that are Gloucester with all that money they have been given. Right. If you could, guys, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these videos and all the other football manager stuff I do. You know, click that bone bound out notification. Click all. You know, they're going to be there for you to watch. Visit all of my socials. Links in the description of my Twitter, Facebook, all of that lovely stuff. Plus, come and hop into the Discord. Come and have a chat with me and everybody else that are in there. Share your stories, share your saves, tactics, what have you. And also generally chat to me and everybody else and stuff. Come join my Liberia pay. All of that lovely stuff. And... And, guys, it's transfer time. Let's go and have a look. Right. So if we go to Gloucester. Transfers. Do, do, do. Ah, right. Bought some really good ones in, to be fair. Not really spent that much money. So, that's a complete and not a shock. Right, outs first. Sam Surridge, they have got rid of to Nantes for 6.75, could rise to £8 million. He's only 24. Why have they got rid of him? Your guess is as good as mine. Loaned Theo Archibald out to Hamilton. Freddie Woodman could rise to 3.4, 2.7. Gone to Crystal Palace, the goalkeeper. I mean... Why are they getting rid of all these players? Are they losing a lot of a lot of money and stuff? I will check in a moment. 
a lot of loans. Freddie Kent, Jason Naismith gone to Dundee. That's another shock, to be fair. Right, the ins. Adam Clayton, the old Middlesbrough player. You know, come in at 34 years of age, going to do a job. Defensive midfield or central midfield. George Long, free transfer from Hull City. Decent, decent goalkeeper there. Only 29 years of age. I mean, they've got some good ones back in. Ryan Innes. 28-year-old Trinidad player. You know, from Cholton. Can't see his stats, but, you know, got to be decent. Sheffield Wednesday, 145. Che Dunkley. 31-year-old defender. Decent stats, what you can see there. And they've listed him for loan as well. Uh, the transfer list straight away. Something weird going on here. Ryan Watson from Wigan. Central midfield or attacking. You know, decent player. 29 year old. Sean Goss from Gillingham. 10k. You know, a cheap buy. But a decent player. We then go to. Vladi. Vladain Oliver from Sheffield Wednesday, 55k. In English, 31-year-old striker. 13 appearances already for Gloucester. Bagging in five goals. So he's gone straight off the ground running. Wes Harding from Rotherham, 300k. 26-year-old Jamaican. Hasn't made an appearance as of yet. Luke Chambers from Ipswich. 37-year-old. Probably going to do a job though. Made seven appearances so far. And John Nolan. 31 year old midfielder. Right. We go to the overview. It says their finances. Are secure. They were rich. I mean they've got. A person pumping in. As much money as they can. Uh, maybe they're going to have to wait. To get some more money coming in. Let's go then. One year further into the future. And we'll see actually. If they've got some more money coming in. Or whether it's just stopped. Right here we go with the next season. That Pavorj Rabavach is still in charge. One year and seven days. As you can see it says. League wins one. So Gloucester obviously have just won the Skybet League 2 Championship. We'll go and have a look. Boom. Done. Gloucester are champions by 91 points. After finishing 13th last season. Not really spending to so much but letting go. A lot and getting a lot of money come back into the club. 91 points, drew 10 games, only lost 9, 27 wins. Literally, comfortably won it actually, didn't they? I mean, just really good. If we go to here, have a look at all their landmarks. Look at that. Since 2003. Increase the stadium by 6,000. That is quite big. Grass pitch installed. Moved back to Meadow Park after being relocated while the stadium was being done up. New captain. League 2 champions. Just everything has literally gone swimming for them. Right, let's have a look at their transfers. See what they have done. Right, here we go. Josh Earl is going to Sheffield Wednesday to for 500k. That's not bad, I don't think. He was only 275 bought, so they made bank on him. Decent player, mind though. They're letting go of some really good players. But we're going to have to check if they're getting really good players in. I'm trying not to look at that side. Because I like being shocked just as much as you do. 
in case they bring in someone special. Uh, Fred, ID Ema from gone to Luton. 850 could rise to 1.2. 143 games for Gloucester, scoring 29 goals. Decent player. They've let go of him. He let some money come into the club. George Long gone to Stoke, 1.3. And they only just got this guy. Then got rid of him straight away. 73 appearances, 68 conceded. That's probably why. And then Wes Harding gone to Barnsley for £2.2 .2 million. Another guy not long came in and gone. Only four appearances. Right. The old inns. Hamed Kone. There's a lot of inns to look here. 18 year old from Derby free transfer already wanted to go on loan hasn't played a single game maybe they will soon loan him out Connor Washington from Portsmouth for 95k a striker 32 year old don't know how good he is uh, Jamie Maskol free transfer 27 year old from Crawley He's already wanted by Scunthorpe on loan. Ben Liddle from Bristol Rovers for free. Might be a decent player, not too sure. Mark Roberts, free transfer. Obviously got decent stats. 33 years of age though. 34 appearances so far for Gloucester. Having no goal as of yet. Joshua we just see because they sold him as soon as they got him. They made bank. James Berry. Probably going to be a decent player. Can play left, right. Attacking midfield or striking. Goodbye. 42 appearances. 8 goals so far from Hall City. We then go to Cheney Alexander. We see him before. Charlie Gilmore. 12,000. Uh, 12, decent one, this one. From Colchester, originally from Norwich, 34 appearances with 6 goals. Harvey Nibs, Jamaican, from Aston Villa and Cambridge, 14 appearances, 6 goals. That's not a bad return and he's straight up on the transfer list, which is very weird to be fair. Keelan O'Connell from Stoke. 3k I mean probably a player that's not going to play that much well he's played 13 appearances scored four goals not too bad Ashley Westwood 34 year old as you know 17 appearances so far they've bought in some decent players Ryan Delaney from Bolton 21k 13 appearances he has made don't know much about him we go to Tom King from Newport, 160k, a goalkeeper. They needed another one, 17 appearances, conceded 16. They're not having their best to look with goalkeepers, are they? George Grant from Peterborough, 1.9 million pound. And he's straight up on the transfer list. Was transfer listed not that long ago. Surplus to requirements. Transfer listed for £5 million. Why? You ask me. I haven't got a clue. And Matt J from Accrington Stanley. 21k. So yeah, like I said, they, they won the league. They blitzed the league, actually. Look at these players they've got here, though. Players worth a lot of money. Sean Goss, 700k. George Grant, 5.7 million. Benji Beg9. Blackburn have made a 1.8 bid already for him. 3.1. 1 million. Ryan Innes. 3.3 million. Thomas O'Connor. 2 million. Che Dunkley. Who is up for sale. Che Alexander. Up for sale. Why they're all up for sale, I do not know. But they're doing decently. They are doing absolutely well.
They got knocked out of the Carabao Cup. Oh no, they're going to have Carabao Cup. But anyway, we'll check all this out next time. But guys, <laughs> hope you've enjoyed it. Also guys, come and check out my Patreon. I've made a new Patreon account with three tiers. If you want to go and have a check of that, you know, be a Patreon on the channel. You get all the perks. The first perk you will get is your name would be listed on the main save of every main save, which the main save at the moment is Wrexham, the Ryan Reynolds way. You know, you get your name at the end of every video. That's a three pound tier. The second tier, a six pound tier, you get your name the same at the end, a greeting message, and you get a player in the youth team that I will put your name in, you know, so you would be in the squad. And the last tier, you get all of those above, plus other stuff. Go and check it out. Become a Patreon. Help support the channel, guys. Right. Hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe. All of that stuff. Guys, catch you in the next video.